Hi guys, welcome to the Rainbow and Bloom channel. I'm Melissa. So good to talk to you again. I just, two things just happened. I just celebrated my birthday a couple days ago and we just had Thanksgiving. So it's been a great week so far and I hope you guys have been having a fabulous holiday week as well. I am right now in Colorado for the first time ever. And it's been very interesting. It's been trying my um, my lungs because it's, you know, a high altitude. And it really is true. The higher you go, the thinner the air gets and it gets harder to breathe. So I've been challenging. Uh, my, my lungs have been challenged to, to breathe freely. Oh, it's been interesting. But I'm only here till the end of the day. Leave tomorrow morning. But I just wanted to um, reach out to you guys again for a couple of reasons. First of all, I've gotten a lot of new followers lately and I wanted to say hello and thank you for following and welcome. And I hope that you've been able to um, look at some older videos and get some good information and inspiration for your own journey with autoimmune disease, scleroderma in particular. And if not you, then your loved ones, your friends, your family, whoever is in your life who is um, suffering, and this light is bright, who is suffering with this, um, you know, illness. And, you know, the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about, there are a few things I want to touch base with you about because people have been asking me questions and I really want to answer the questions um, all at once instead of individually but um, the one thing I wanted to touch on today was you know in the midst of all this pandemic stuff and so much is going on right now it's like overwhelming to even think about I don't even watch the news I think um, that falls into what I wanted to talk to you about today which is self-care self-care physically, self-care mentally, self-care spiritually. How important it is to be very, very mindful of how you are being with yourself. Are you giving your well-being the attention that it needs? Are you resting enough? Because that's the first way that we can protect our immunity, um, promote our healing physically and otherwise, um, combat mental fog, and so many other things. When we sleep, when our body's at rest, it can rejuvenate and it can heal. That's when the body heals itself. And so we wanna make sure we're getting enough rest. I am an insomniac and I'm constantly working on that. I could not sleep last night because I made the mistake of having coffee <laughs> around nine or 10 o'clock and then I couldn't fall asleep at all. Um, I think I had a nap. And nothing I did actually helped. I um, I turned off all the lights. I closed the blinds. I made the um, room as dark as possible. I put the covers over my head. I put on sleep music. And I, I tried to go to sleep and I just couldn't go to sleep. Um, so for me, uh, getting the proper amount of rest, at least six hours, is a, a constant um, struggle. Something I have to always be mindful of to make sure that I don't... Um, I have a racing mind. That's my issue. And it's always been that way and I have to work on it. But I'm telling you, <laughs> if you can help it get as much rest as you possibly can and that can alleviate a lot of stuff. And then, you know, I, I found myself getting really neglectful in terms of upkeeping things. Like I always, I had gotten into the habit of getting my nails done and you know, certain things that just make you feel good. I haven't been keeping up with that lately just because, you know, we haven't been going out anywhere really. And um, there's so much anxiety going on. Um, I haven't been getting dressed up and going out. This is the most dressed up I've gotten in I don't, I don't know how long. And yesterday I wore one of my favorite um, jumpsuits for Thanksgiving, you know, people I hadn't met before. so. I put on something a little bit kind of special, but um, I was just commenting to somebody about how you don't see any lipstick commercials anymore because everybody's 
if you're not wearing a mask, you're just not wearing makeup at all anyway, or you're not going anywhere. So many people are staying home, not going to work. So, I mean, so many things are different, but it's really important that we remember to take care of ourselves and um, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally and physically. Meditating, prayer, if you are a believer in something, meditating and praying and um, watching our thoughts. And you know, if you have issues with depression, are you getting up to take that shower that you need? You know, taking a shower. If you don't feel like taking a shower, at least, you know, get some soap and water. I use washcloths, not everybody does, but it's a good idea to get washcloths or body wipes and just wash up just to just get some kind of clean you know like the um the dermatologists say the stinky parts wash the stinky parts <laughs> if you're having trouble with your skin and, and all that just take care of the stinky parts and um do everything you can to take care of yourself okay it's a it's a squirrel behind me um so yeah just i wanted to remind you guys and encourage you to just do that you know every little bit counts you don't have to do everything perfectly you don't have to do all the things just do something to help yourself out and i find that when i get to um the 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 not courage but the energy and the the impetus to do something special for myself wash my hair <laughs> simple simple things you feel so much better you feel like brand new shoes you know you feel cute and it just lifts your mood so try that if you've been feeling down in the dumps if you haven't been able to and there's a big rottweiler whew, if you haven't been able to um get yourself to just get up and go and do something pick one thing that you want to do just to feel good about yourself you know what I mean if you got to comb your hair you know just put on something nice for the sake of it put on some makeup or whatever if you're a guy whatever that is you know or even calling up a friend you know calling up somebody you know somebody who you need to talk to or need somebody to talk to there's so many things you know to do um, just to you know lift your own spirits right so uh, let me know, have you guys been doing things to help yourself to just lift your mood and just get out of, you know, shake yourself out of whatever dumps you might be in, you know, because it's, it's super important to do that because the longer you stay there, the longer you'll stay there. All right. Well, guys, thank you for listening. I wanted to make a really quick video because I've been thinking about all of you lately and how long I've been gone. And I'm going to do my best to reach back out later and answer some of the questions um, you guys have had for me lately about test results and um, changes to appearance and things like that. So uh, I will get back in touch soon and, you know, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.